What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was a ranged matchup versus uh, Emphatic Elite. Uh, <laughs> these guys are obviously awesome. Uh, has a really nice basis, really nice attacks. And unfortunately for 2.0, they came with victory 113 to 111. Uh, tough war. Uh, you know, we, we came short a little bit. We recognized some things um, about our lack of experience in certain departments. And it, you know, it shows through in these range, range matchups. And uh, nobody's fault by any means. A lot of our, most of our Town Hall 10s are brand new. You know, obviously Town Hall 11s only as new as it is. So we're still figuring out the best ways to ensure three stars uh, on some of those 10s. And you know, the 10s obviously are learning not only uh, what Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 is, but you know, it's expected for our 10s to be stepping up and two star in these 11s, right? So we don't want to use our 11s for twos on these 11s. We want to use our 11s to be three star in these 10s um, to get the just the maximum stars, right? So tough, tough stage of life for our clans. Plus, not to mention, I think, um, I don't know, maybe some of you guys from other, uh, you know, top clans can uh, back me up on this. For the last week, I don't know, maybe two weeks, We've been getting like one after another, after another, after another of uh, matching up randomly with Crazy Warren. And we just had a random matchup with WHF, another random matchup with uh, Exodus Exalted. Uh, that was a tough one for Vic, like for both Invicta and 2.0. Um, just got matched up with the Moral Thieves randomly. Uh, like just crazy. Anyways, I swear, man, something seems different about the matchmaking. For the better, obviously, we welcome that. If there's no more farming wars, that is beautiful. Uh, obviously, we don't learn anything from farming wars, so uh, is what it is, right? We need this practice because we need to uh, need to start transitioning into our town hall ten game um, and slowly, slowly phasing out nine here. Uh, is nice, nice though to see the nines cleared all the way down. And we didn't, like I said, you know, this this war was so close. Uh, we actually 2.0 had a had a pretty substantial lead with quite a few Town Hall 10 attacks left. In fact, it didn't have many attacks left and put the stars on the board where they needed. And we just we just couldn't get it done. And it's no one's fault. It's it's you know definitely a new learning curve for a ton of people in that position. Not to mention new pressures of being Town Hall 10 and being uh, you know. It, being expected to three star some of these lower these lower nines, even the Town Hall Elevens. You know, look, Team Unique eighty four percent, Pintasar ninety seven percent. So that is tough, 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 right? Those two stars right there tied up. But is what it is. Grats to Emphatic, taking nothing away from them because it was a good war for both sides. Um, some really nice tax in here. We're gonna show. Start off with endless. <clears throat> Stepping it up and taking care of the triple on this ten. Uh, really like this. I'm going to make a little point to try and times two some of these queen charges. They just seem to take forever. Uh, but queen's going to kind of uh, charge in here, I believe, uh, walks her up and around, um, gets this entire, like all these outer compartments and all the way up, and then uh, closes off the walk, actually, uh, once she gets up here. Uh, so you're just taking shots from that expo. You know, there's not a lot of points here, though, where she is facing two point events plus that expo um as soon as she does you can see your health starts going down a bit so nice timing on that rage uh like i was just i, I was talking um before maybe I, maybe i was i was talking with uh, some people though when you're doing such a big queen charge or queen walk your raid is so dependent on her surviving it's probably better to burn the rage early or burn the uh, ability early just keep her alive, right? Like, yeah, um, it might screw you if you burn those rages or, or abilities. Obviously, you want to try and avoid that. But if it's a matter of your queen dying, make sure you keep her up and at least get her to that long term. And you never know what happens once the raid continues. So, so like, all that's left here, once these Inferno Tires go down, hogs are all in on the outside. I love the hogs because now that um, once you're planning and you see and you take everything out that you wanted to with your kill squad and queen walk, there's not a lot left for these hogs. Like, they were kind of under that heel, a little bit lucky on the DGB, but all this stuff would have cleaned it up anyways. These wizards on the outside had it. It was tree stars in the bag regardless. Beautiful job, Endless. Nice raid. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What else do I have? I got a few of these nines I want to show you. Love Sean. Just an awesome attacker. We always try and reserve Sean. Uh, a couple of our guys like Sean, JJ. Um, 
we really try and reserve their attacks if we can. Uh, just they they have such a good consistency rate. Um, taking care of these uh, maxed out nines like beasts. So here we see how Sean does it. He's created this funnel with these minions on the outside. I like the balloon trade off for the mortar there. It ensures golems stay put. <coughs> I'm going to open up that wall nice and safely. Everything's going to open up. Golems are routing in. <clears throat> He's got six Valks and his king. He's about to drop in here. Nice, just patient deployment. Early poison there for the CC troops coming up. Shut up, cat. Um, really going to slow down this P.E.K.K.A. Nice, nice, just very patient, slow deployment. Valks are all in this compartment now. Queen's already working on the Wiz. Wiz goes down. The P.E.K.K.A. gets a, maybe a couple shots off on the, that Golem, which you, you can see it's almost dead. But that was all it did. And, and if that's all you take from a P.E.K.K.A., then that's a success in taking out that Clan Castle. Plus, he was able to use that Poison for those skellies in there and just misses that queen would have been nice if you got that defense queen but there she goes she walks into it slows her attack rate right down hogs are even in kind of early nice and early taking care of those outer defenses the valves aren't gonna be able to touch valves continue to move in heel goes down single bomb there doesn't stand a chance when the hogs are standing in their heels so he conserved every hog he sent in there um, another bomb goes off same thing hogs standing in the heel Boom, finally they take a little bit of damage, but no big deal. All those Valks and the King in there doing tanking. Loses a few to Spring Traps. Another one to Spring Traps, but no big deal. It is cleanup time for Sean. Wizard up there helping on the high hit points. He's got that Max Golem in there. <laughs> Hold on, was that, a, was that a Swag Golem? Where did that Golem come from? I almost want to go back and watch that. That wasn't a third Golem, was it? One, no, there was only two. Crazy. Craziness. That must have been the golem that almost died and it just never went down. I don't know. Interesting. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Sean. Uh, 14. Logic beats. Thought this was a really cool attack. How many times do you bring this four golem strat? Four golem, one lava hound. So the idea here is with the double jump, he's going to jump into here. He's going to get these two air defense and then I believe jump again over here. Um, I forget how this one goes down. He, pretty, he gets all four air defense. I'm almost 100% positive, but nice, just kind of same thing as Sean, right? Like super patient, letting those golems stand at the wall while everything gets cleared out. Wall breaker goes in. There goes that, uh, there goes the other two golems who's sending in all four of these golems. Now, as soon as this uh, wall opens up, golems are going to reroute. Oh, it does have a little bit of a wall breaker fail there, but no big deal. Queen just needs one more shot on that. Queen jumps into that compartment first, which could be a little deadly, but nice spread out to base. Um, doesn't really matter. Golems are going to get tons of value once they get in here. Uh, poison goes down, just misses the witch, um, which kind of delays things. But finally she steps in and down she goes. Everything is going to just start getting wrecked. Second jump down, and here comes this beautiful rage. I like this rage. Queen's just standing in there, just going to rip through all of this stuff. So as you can see, he's already got two, about to be a third air defense. The trip Teslas pop there and really start wrecking those golems. But it doesn't matter. That's, that, that is just huge value. His king still hasn't been touched. He raised it up there without it taking like one point of damage on his king. Gets in there. Defensive queen is down. I believe there it is. So maybe he didn't get that air defense. My bad. But super easy uh, pathing for these balloons, right? Like only three defenses and then the rate on top of that air D. Boom. Down it goes. Tesla's dead. Air defense dead. No big deal there. <laughs> Look at all these balloons just sandwiching out on this base now. Eventually, I think, loses his uh, queen here to the uh, expo. Yeah. Um, balloons don't quite get it in time. But as you can see, it's basically clean up. Would have been real nice if you could have got that Lava Hound to burst, but no big deal. Wizards are all around the base doing cleanup. GG for this base. Nice cleanup balloon there, too. Treat stars in the bag. Job logic. <coughs> Man hoodie. Love this guy. Always brings these beastly attacks. So, um, you know, Town Hall 9 is going to miss you, by the way, Hoodie. I know you're uh, you're gunning to go up soon. One more level on that king, and I think you're going. Um, anyhow, beautiful, beautiful walk here. Uh, what I loved was, first of all, the, the intention is to get in this nook and take out the defensive queen. Look at how early he sees the question mark, and as soon as this elixir storage goes down, bam. 
Drop that rage, make sure it's nice and early. He does not want to take one shot of fire from that defensive queen without the healers being raged. So beautiful job. I was talking with, maybe it was Kadic, um about uh, using rages where you should. It's far better to use a rage early in a raid than it is to be late with your rage. Because if you're late with your rage, the result is your queen dies and basically your raid is screwed. If you're early with your rage, you're probably going to ensure still that your queen survives and at least get her to the later point in the game. A lot of times these queen walks or queen charges, you get your goal and then you just kind of leave your queen. You start with another aspect of your raid, like Hoodie does here, right? He's like defense queen's down, queen's walking. So Hoodie started this section, right? Drops the jump, drops the poison, taking care of all this stuff, sends in some Valks. Golem's in there, going to get this with this kill squad, you and then start sending in his haunts. It's hard to predict where all this stuff's going to necessarily meet up with your queen. So if you keep her up, ensure you keep her up past the important things, and then leave her, there's a huge, huge good percent chance, like here, by the time she gets anywhere near other defenses, you got the rest of your kill squad coming in, doing tanking, taking stuff down for her, and helping her out. Uh, so like I said, it's like it's like the old thing about hawks. You can't heal dead hawks, right? You obviously want to be as careful as you can with your heals and use them smart, um, appropriately, I should say. But if you're too trying to be too patient, it can really burn you. Same thing with the rages or your ability on your queen wants and charges, guys. Just drop it. If you're worried, like Hoodie saw there, saw the question mark over the queen, knew any second that queen was going to open fire, so just gets that rage down nice and early. And three stars in the bag. Nice job, Hood. Uh, all right. I think I just have one more here I wanted to show you. Going way down. Nice 40-man war. I liked it. A lot of replays in here, guys. Wanted to show this by uh, attack by Caddick. We were actually talking about this in maybe one of our Slay My Base episodes. Um, just about when you leave your mortars very undefended, I guess. Um, Kadic really abuses that. He's got no golem in the CC. He's got witches in the CC here. Um, only brings the one golem, I think. So it's uh, four witches, a handful of wizards, these 15 hogs as well. Now the idea here is going to push his queen up through all this high hit point crap, but at the same time, he's going to get the defensive queen. Uh, also pull up the CC with that hog there. So poison, oh he doesn't have poison, it's my bad. Rage goes down nice and early, like we talked about CC's incoming, get that rage down guys. Now he does have to burn his ability early here, I can tell you for sure Caddick did not want to use that ability, but probably a smart idea. There were so many archers with that dragon, plus the uh, skellies came out. So the queen had to attack so much before she even locked onto the drag that um, he had to burn that ability early. But like I said, see what happens here. Rage early, ability early, rage goes down. See that health going down, get it down. Even though, even though the heroes hadn't locked on yet, you know they are any second, and boom, there goes that queen. Queen standing under the rage with the healers under the rage does not stand a chance. So this queen's going to continue her way up and around now. Uh, and so he goes ahead and sends in this prong of attack. Creates the funnel on the other side. Nice and easy peasy. Uh, only a couple wizards down, which is beautiful. Here come these witches. Boom, drops a bunch of witches. Now... At this point in the raid, probably a few moments before this point in the raid, Caddick's like, oh Christ, I don't have any wall breakers. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> you didn't bring wall breakers. And I can tell you 100%, he meant to bring wall breakers. I'm pretty sure he planned this attack for a very long time and forgets to bring wall breakers. But Look at the beauty of these witches. We're going to watch this. Watch how fast these walls kind of go down. At this point in the raid, Caddick's like, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Oh, man, the skeletons are just chewing through this base. Now, remember, the mortars are getting taken out. There is one mortar remaining. There's this one wizard tower and this upper wizard tower. That's it for splash damage for this base. So the queen just took out that mortar. That mortar and that wizard tower are about to be the only splash damage, uh, splash damage remaining. And yes, all his witches survived that wall break fail. They're in there doing work. Wizards are in there doing work. So just they're going to get insane value. All these skeletons running everywhere, doing tanking from all these point defenses. Point defenses don't know what to target at this point. Just just beautiful use of witches here, Caddick. I thought it was really nice to see uh, a base breakdown like that where you decide to use witches because I know you you're, you figured you're like you're going to get mortars, the whiz towers. There's really only a couple left on each side, and it is GG from this point. 
sorry I had to show your, I shouldn't say wall break fail, but you failed to bring wall breakers. <laughs> but, which is overpowered swag heel. Nice job, Caddick. Classy gentleman, not dropping swag either. I thought I'd point that out. Anyhow, tough work. It's been a hell of a week for 2.0, the 2.0 family, both Invicta and 2.0 have had a lot of really tough wars, one after another, after another, after another. And it's tough, you know, when you're used to maybe doing one tough war a week on the weekend, when you have some extra time, um, extra planning time, That that's okay. But you really start feeling it when it's just one after another, after another, after another. You know, you're constantly wanting, having to build the new bases for every single war now where you might have to build, you know, one a week kind of thing. Now you build them on like every day. Um, if you're an unfortunate sucker like me who brought his uh, other account into Invicta, then <laughs> getting the double pronged action. So um, it's tough, right? And no excuses. We're working hard at at really starting to transition into the Town Hall 10 game. Uh, so guys, stay tuned and you will see our progression uh, in regards to that. But that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.